Virat, there have been plenty of times when India has out-batted the opposition and quite a few times recently when they've out-bowled them as well. But this is one of those rare occasions when pretty much the fielding has won the game for India, wouldn't you say? Yeah, you could say that. I mean, but the, the pressure was built by the bowlers. Um, and that, I think, resulted in, you know, those breakthroughs that we got in the field. But it's important to grab those um, opportunities as well. And, you know, thinking about how we wanted to improve our fielding. Um, I think this was something that we required, this kind of a fielding performance. And before going out, you know, uh, we, we had a chat in the huddle that I want to see everyone's intensity go up. And that is a conscious effort we have to make individually in such a big game. You know, you need, you need to start well and then bowlers were on the money and that, that actually helps the fielders, you know, get into better positions and attack the batsmen when they know the bowlers hitting the right spot regularly. Uh, Virat, like there was not much on the pitch there, and uh, but you, your bowlers still created something out of nothing, uh, and also once you had them under the pump, like you know, once after the two runouts, uh, you finished them off. Uh, do you think that's kind of becoming the feature of this team, like those two things, like making things out of nothing and then finishing them off? More important. I think two games have done that really well. Uh, one game we had an off day, which is we've discussed before already. Um, but yeah, this is something that we've spoken as well that. You know, when you have teams down for five uh, or six for not many, you need to understand how to finish games off and close games off. Um, luckily, we got their, you know, big strikers out early, and that really helps to close the innings off. Because in the end, if you get a 50-60 run partnership, the opposition is still, uh, you know, in the game, and we didn't want that to happen. So, yeah, I mean, the bowlers, uh, you know, stuck to their lines and and got us the breakthroughs when we required and that really helps uh, you know when you chase that kind of a total down you can take your time because the bowlers have done a, such a good job thank you did you tell anything specially to bumra because you know he had to open the attack with a new ball which is not his regular job i mean recently so what did you tell him yeah i mean i'm sure he was looking forward to it um, he's an attacking bowler and all i said was you know express yourself go for wickets um, if you want to yoke people with the new ball, do it. If you want to bounce people, do it. Um, you know, this is your opportunity. The, the new ball does quite a bit. And you can get us a couple of breakthroughs. And, you know, his, his intention was to pick up wickets. And that's why we were able to create pressure from both ends. I mean, Bhuvi, we always know, is very consistent. But I think the way Bhumra bowled as well, um, you know, really uh, tightened things from both ends. And then 30-odd runs in 10 overs was an outstanding start for us. And then we could build on from there and get those uh, important breakthroughs. A cue about the bowlers, like uh, nearly 24 maiden overs bowled by the Indian bowling unit. Do you, uh, do you think that in a high pressure match as a captain, this is the best that you have seen from your bowlers, like against a quality world number one side, nearly 24 maiden overs? Um, see, I don't know the figures, I don't know how many maiden overs or dot balls, but something that uh, you know we spoke about, we executed that and that always feels good as a, as a team. You know, I'm, I'm really delighted for all the bowlers uh, to have executed their plans so well in such a big game. And, um, you know, to be able to bowl like that against a batting lineup of, of their capability is something that, you know, already we can feel that, you know, confidence and that uh, energy in the change room because of a bowling performance like this. And we'd surely like to take that forward into the semis. Uh, Virat, uh, <clears throat> Uh, there was like uh, a competition going on between the fielders, ballers, even from the batters. Uh, I mean, the intensity we saw, I mean, almost uh, Indian team crushed uh, uh, South Africa. So was the last match uh, playing in the mind that we have to compensate for that also, and we have to do, and we have to do well today? And uh, a little bit on uh, your conversation with uh, Dhoni, I saw lots of time you went there for field setting and chatting. Uh, how does that help uh, you as a captain? And well, his, his inputs are obviously always uh, very precise, um, very helpful at any stage of the game. As I said, even the last game we discussed about the part-timers and he's the one who mentioned it and then I thought, yeah, why not? I mean, you know, let's give bowlers a break. They probably might be feeling the pressure and the part-timers have nothing to lose. So. That actually slowed the game down also. And today as well, it was all about, you know, asking him whether to keep the slip in there long enough or, you know, what does he think of the fields and 
just taking assurance. I mean, you obviously want to do that. You don't want to feel isolated out there. Yes, you're making the decisions, but the inputs from such experienced players are priceless at any stage of the day. And um, yeah, I mean, the intensity was uh, really good today. Uh, something, as I said, we've spoken about already. We wanted to improve on it, and um, we we got it. I mean, even with the bat, you know, the way Shikhar batted was was really great to see. I mean, uh, you know, obviously I had to hold one end, and I've always done that job for the team, but. To, to have him play his natural game, play free cricket, get boundaries regularly. You know, that really eases the situation out for the whole team. Um, so, you know, I'm glad he backed himself and played exactly the way he did in the last game. And, um, yeah, it was... I, I can't pinpoint any negatives from today, honestly. It's, it, it's probably, uh, I would say, our, our most complete game yet. Thanks, sir. Last five uh, first question. Did you think that this big game will be a mismatch. And the second portion is that in the semi-finals, out of the four teams, three teams are from the subcontinent. And uh, do you think that the subcontinent teams, due to the proliferation of limited overs cricket that we play, have become better ODI teams in the world? Sorry, first question was what? Mismatch. In this mismatch with South In Africa. terms of what? I mean, that, that South Africa did not turn up today given such a big match? Uh, well, you know, it, in cricket you have days like this. I mean, I don't want to say South Africa didn't turn up. I think we played good cricket. It's equally in the last game, we, we gave credit to Sri Lanka. I don't want to take credit away from South Africa here. You know, we played good cricket and that's what happens. That's why you play the sport. Someone has to win, someone has to lose. Um, unfortunately, it was their day to lose today and it was ours in the last game. So that's how I see the sport. You know, you don't want to feel too uh, good about what you've done. You have to respect the game and uh, this game that we play. And um, what was the second question, sorry? Uh, the, the subcontinent teams. Um, I don't know, maybe because of you know how much uh, limited overs cricket we play, I think the players are getting more experienced in difficult situations. And not to say that other teams are not playing well, but maybe you know some other teams have really surprised the oppositions with the way they have batted um, and bowled in certain situations. And Credit to you know all the teams that have made the semi so far. We played some very good cricket to get there, and could be anyone. Could be teams from the subcontinent. Could be England's there as well. And they are dominating. So, you know, it's all about who can play better cricket in a short and competitive tournament like this. And the results are in front of you. Thank you, sir. Last four. Thank you. Um, you're absolutely right in that your team has completely dominated South Africa in all departments: batting, bowling, fielding, and captaincy. Um, but how much do you, the South Africans have a history of mental frailty? in big games. How much of a factor do you think that was today? Um, I don't know. I mean, to me, their batsmen look pretty confident, you know. If you get two run outs uh, pretty quickly, then the mindset totally changes. And as a captain, you have to understand where the game is heading after that. We only wanted to go for wickets because we understood now, you know, they're probably hesitating in going for their shots. And we got in attacking fielders and, you know, we asked the bowlers to make them play difficult shots. So that paid off. I mean, that's, you know, we were able to fin close the game out. Um, that was really good for us. And as I said, getting their uh, big hitters early was a bonus. Um, I think initially before AB got run out, they were going really well. And, you know, Faf and AB were rotating it really well. I think his run out could be the turning point. And, and David Millers, he's a very dangerous player as well. They can drag the team um, up to 260, 270 from any sort of situation. So, um, yeah, I think those two run outs were, I think, the turning point today. Uh, one character that defines his team after you took charge is the ability to bounce back, especially after defeats. Uh, is there any special message that you tell them post the defeat because, you know, you come back with all guns blazing? Um, you have to be honest. You have to, you know, sometimes say things that hurt. That's, that's what I believe in. Um, you have to lay it out in front of them that this is what we did wrong, including me. And we need to take it on the chin and accept it and improve it. That's why we are chosen among you know, millions of people to play at this level. Uh, you have to be good enough to do that for the country and you have to be good enough to bounce back as well. You, know, you can't do the same mistakes over and over again. So I think that, that sort of mindset um, is really helping um, all of us to you know, come together as a unit and make things happen. It's not about asking two, three players to do it. We're asking everyone to do it. And everyone's responding really well. Until you have a team effort, you cannot win games. 
especially in conditions that you are not familiar with. And you know, today was um, a team performance. Thank you, sir. Last look. Uh, Virat, how difficult was it to bounce back on the same ground where you had suffered a reverse just two days ago, and that too in a crunch situation? That if you had lost, you would have been out of the tournament. How difficult was it as a leader to completely change the mindset of the team for this crunch match? Um, see, you, as I said, you have to point out things that didn't go well. Um, but at the same time, you don't want to be, you know, nagging them too much because they're professional cricketers and I have played with a lot of these guys and you have to understand how to speak to them and, you know, how to um, communicate and discuss things with them. They are, they are motivated enough to, you know, play at this level and perform. It's just that those little things are something that needs a push every now and then and we embrace it as a team now. And um, we want to put in that extra effort to make sure that in certain situations we apply pressure for long enough. For that we train harder, for that we practice harder. And those things, you know, pay off in crunch situations. If you're, if you're not fit enough, you know, if you're not practiced enough, then you tend to lose your way for five hours and the game's gone away from you. So those small things are something that we're focusing on. And um, yeah, it, you know, for me, you you look at every game as a game of cricket, um, but at times you understand the magnitude of what you're playing in as well. And um, as a captain, I I would uh, not say that I was you know totally calm or I had no issues at all. I mean, obviously you think of wanting to get the team across the line, and I'm glad the boys turned up the way they did today. हर मैच में एक इंटेंसिटी रखने की बात करते हो कि टॉप इंटेंसिटी होनी चाहिए लेकिन ये तीन मैचेस थे लीग फेस के जिसमें से एक मैच जैसे क्वार्टर फाइनल हो गया अब से में फाइनल फाइनल की बात होती है कि जब ऐसे मौके आते हैं तो एक जोन चला जाता है आप कि आप की तरफ से एक टीम की तरफ से तो क्या कहोगे क्योंकि पीछे देखने के लिए कुछ नहीं सिर्फ ये मैच और बस यही मैच नहीं आई थिंक इस इस टूर्नामेंट में लीग फेस काफी मुश्किल होता है अभी जैसे हमारे पास 3 दिन है मैच से पहले और इस मैच से हमने काफ़ी कॉन्फिडेंस लिया इतनी हाई क्लास साइड को हराना इतना कन्विंसिंगली बहुत एक बूस्ट होता है टीम के लिए तो अब हमें लिटरली यू नो किसी चीज़ की सोचने की ज़रूरत ही नहीं है हमें जाके अपनी एबिलिटीज़ को एक्सप्रेस करना है और कॉन्फिडेंट क्रिकेट खेलना है और यू नो दूसरी टीमों को पता है कि हम अच्छा खेल रहे हैं हमें सिर्फ वो चीज़ें रिपीट करनी है हमें कुछ ऐसा एक्स्ट्रा नहीं करने की ज़रूरत है हमने इंटेंसिटी क्रिएट करी है जैसे मैंने बोला है कॉन्फिडेंस बहुत मिला इस गेम से तो अभी लिटरली हमें एक्साइटमेंट है कि सेमीफाइनल कब आएगा तो वैसा माइंडसेट होना आई थिंक चेंज रूम में एक बहुत अच्छी फीलिंग है और आई एम वेरी डिलाइटेड कि आज हम वो क्रिएट कर पाए आज फील्ड में थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू वी आर ट्रैवलिंग टू बर्मिंग